Brown Mountain in attack, he's sitting his peak. So let's consider the streak. He got past Kid Verbal, some skinheaded teen, got past Rob Wilson with bruises like the skin of a peach, got past Danny Jack with jokes about his skin which was weak, and got past Bizzle and stow away by the skin of your teeth. You're an average rapper. It's a shame these battles been rigged for you, because apart from that Danny Jack display, there ain't a battle I'd give to you. You've had one good performance. One well, spitting true, so don't get misconstrued, because you are only good one time like Hitler's youth before he switched his views to killing Jews. Good one time. <laughs> Good one time like the first round of winter spewed. Good one time like the <laughs> Hey, we're back here, don't flop training days. This is the final battle of the day. It's the second main event. This is the October edition of training days. There'll be many more in 2016. Thanks to everybody for coming out for this one. It is the final battle of the day. And actually, this battle is between, I just found out, two unbeaten MCs in the league. So it's going to be judged. So the first, uh, someone is going to take their first L and someone's going to pick up another W. So, as a bit of excitement to the battle. So please, as always, there is going to be a winner. But make sure you log on Viewpoint and leave your opinion of who you thought won. And in the YouTube comment section as well. You know, nothing but love from Don't Flop. MC on my right hand side. Smashed it this year. Crafty. Make some noise. Yeah. And MC on my left hand side, Conquer B. Make some noise. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, just to quickly say as well, Craft D on my right is going to be battling Heretic on the main stage at the Dover Club's 7th birthday. And the winner of that battle officially gets the Newcomer of the Year award trophy, physically printed up, engraved, whatever. That's going to be dope. Alright, we chose off camera. The Conqueror's going to go first. It's round number one of Conquer. Let's go. Yo. So, Craft D, <laughs> I saw your battle with Jay Short, <laughs> and it made me confused. I saw two beardy ginger bastards entertaining the room, stacking multis, overexcited in the way that they move. One of our parents has got some explaining to do. <laughs> this is the first time someone's had two mirror matches in a row. But not just for the looks, I see the pattern in your flow. So now it feels like someone's got tenacious D to battle me, because I can't tell if this shit is a tribute or a parody. Because mm. yeah. you like breaking down characters. And I'm ready for that shit, boss. But it's childish breaking things that you're jealous you haven't got. I know you've got bars. But it's all nice stuff spat in the blandest way. And when you start to show some passion, it just feels so out of place. I mean, there ain't a single type of personality that's suiting you. And Conker's leaving rappers chalked out on point like a snooker cue. Explosive when I rock it. Heavy file like when bazookas shoot. If the boot connects, you're getting shut down like complete computers do. Fuck. Your bars are wasting. They go round in circles like a hula hoop. Your flavour of the month, but flavour dies out quick like juicy fruit. I'll be holding, bro I'll be holding broken bits of craft like I was super glue Expose the man behind the mask was high as fuck like Scooby Doo <laughs> And I know it's my own fault But I gotta say that I am livid Cause right now you got the buzz I would have had if I'd committed They thought I was out but now I bounce back I'm alive and kicking Killing off the clones like after Obi did what Qui-Gon didn't No I can't deny your lyrics I can't deny your lyrics, but they ain't strong enough to hide your limits. Your words paint a picture, but they're old news, bruv, that's hieroglyphics. Skill alone, oh. <laughs> skill alone won't get you by. I think it's best you try some gimmicks, cause you being yourself looks like there's someone else you're trying to mimic. Time to quit it. Punch for punch your fuck, bruv, this is Tyson swinging. You'll see Kraft destroyed and playing Master Chief on his final mission. Oh. Are you king of the newcomers, yeah? Whoop! <laughs> 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 well, if, well, your highness, if that's right, then bitch, I've overthrown your throne and now the rightful king's residing in it. Cause in your tryout, you strutted in like you was the hugest boss. Then in your opener, you said consuming lots of food and pop. After one win, your ego started growing faster than light. Then you told Liv Winter your bars were sharp like a knife. After two wins, <laughs> acting like your bars left hell froze. And you said you stick to the theme like a party dress code. After three wins, <laughs> acting like you're a top tier star. Then against Jay, you used the top tier, top tier bar. Now you got four wins, but if you spit anything this pathetically shit, today you ain't gonna be getting a fifth time. Yeah. Yo, so apparently now every written clash is a mirror match. But Don't Flop said don't try to stop the match up, because if you can beat Jay Short and Conquer, then the final boss is Cracker. <laughs> <laughs> See, you've, you've no-showed five times. That's why I had to hold back before calling you out. I wanted to make sure that I'd actually get to rap before chalking them out. See, because <laughs> half the time when he gets given a match, he forfeits about. So when Shotty describes not showing up, well, that's what he's talking about. Because <laughs> in the ring, he's hard, manic. Then in real life, calm, passive. See, I breeze for opponents. The bar's balanced with calm talent. That's why your tears median. When you can only win in mean mode, you are average. This mm. is... 
This is homemade to fast package. No pain to hard damage. Slow train to fast carriage. No name to class talent. It's like Brendan Rogers, he can't manage. Brenton Office, I'm sarcastic. So mm. when they say we're a close match, I laugh at it. Yeah, we're both unbeaten. But I've had good opponents, hard clashes, bro. Your most hard challenge was Smart Alex. Your past matches. Yeah. <laughs> well, Smart Alex, your past matches, they ain't like crafty. I've been knocking out opponents. You've been tame like sparring. You've been ducking out opponents. What is it? Stage fright? Hardy. Maybe you've been hitting one too many late night parties. But he's mm. finally took a decent battle. And about the eighth time asking Javi Hernandez, he's made his name by passing. <laughs> <laughs> See, when the challenge came his way, he up ducked and ran. Bails on battles, blames it on the rough luck he's had, but we all know he's been busy getting fucked up and smashed. Conquer B? I thought Conquer was supposed to be a tough nut to crack, but watch him crack now. Yo, watch him crack now. These punches laid a smack down. You came here to die. Now watch him fade to background. I come to events to cook. Like, my name is Sam Lowndes. I might strike when I watch. <laughs> Two events to cook, like my name is Sam Lowndes. I might strike with the marshal like I play for Van Gaal, but look, mm. they said, they said he's all right and he can be funny, but all I see is a disappearing act like a magic bunny. Now this is your comeback. <laughs> so at the comeback, you'll go back to running after getting a backhand and his return like Andy Murray. So you think mm. that you're some future champ, the type to go Canada, bro. The type to go Canada. Bro, birthday weekend, on main stage, you're some outdoor unknown amateur. Battling outdoor, outside the venue goes to show you're no challenge. You get downgraded to a street fighter for thinking you're a soul caliber. But look, mm. this is like, if this is like street fighter, you'll find C on curb when I break him down in three. Like I'm dividing, conquer, control of the crowd. I can make him divide and conquer. So next two rounds, I'm going to turn him against you, then kill you. Just divide and conquer. Let's mm. go. Yo, let's go. You refer to 9-11 as a builder's nightmare. <laughs> I'm sure it ruined a few builder's nights, yeah. <laughs> no, it was a disaster. One that left a strong country weak-willed. All you saw was rubble, dust and the blood that had been spilled. Thousands of people and their loved ones have been killed. He's there like, oh, that's going to be a cunt to rebuild. <laughs> <laughs> then you tweeted, fake motherfuckers get left behind on the road to realness. <laughs> With total penis. Oh, is that the road where the spoken word poem scene is? Yeah, I tried getting through there, but it was taking well long because there's a blockage from that pedestal you've placed yourself on. Mm. See, that god complex yeah. ain't justified. <laughs> and it sure as hell ain't murking me because you look like that nerdy teen Hercules from the early scene, still young and foolish. And you ain't got the skill to beat me, so you're getting schooled by the goat like I'm full of TTs. You went from zero to zero. But still ain't had a testing challenger. It seems there's no Achilles heel, but he ain't even left the amateurs. And this shit's kind of like the Hydra. And that applies to every battler, because if you take heads off, twice as many heads are set to snap at ya. Mm. The fact your dad's a thunder god don't matter when your mum's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I bring pain and panic, Hades havoc, you know I'm the one to watch. In this verse you'll swiftly learn that I've been lurking with the Cerberus because I'm here to show there's three times as much fight in the underdog. So you've taken yeah. flight on Pegasus to go and fight the Megalith. The Titan's on his way, rule number 95 kid, concentrate because this shit ain't a Disney film. And I've already locked your fate because once you know the weakness it only takes one moment for a god to break. And any judgments are more right in the null and void. I'll tell you why, let's start with the facts. You said Liv Winter reused lines from her poem, can't argue with that. Then you rhymed, can't argue with that, with can't argue with that. And you called her a lazy writer. Can't argue with that. <laughs> and then you called her a chim sweeper. What the fuck is a damn chim? He said goodbye. To <laughs> he said goodbye to the knee, like he busted his hamstring. What did you think? <laughs> what did you think? I know what will make these words and poems fit. I'll just cut normal words in half and make new words that don't exist. No, I'm like, I'm totally great. Yes. Just the kind of hopeless fraud that Conquer won't endorse. Or the fucking show remorse, he wants to go to war. You ain't above going overboard. Nah, boss, you know the score, and you just lost this second round. Like you're playing Tony Hawks and got the Owen horse. Oh. Oh. Let's go, boy. Yo, so you mock Smart Alex's SoundCloud for deleting his songs. 
You made a much worse mistake on yours, bruv, by keeping them on. <laughs> <laughs> you, think, you think your music's unique just because you called it pulse grime core, bruv? You're so snobbish, bruv. I will pay you money if you can listen to that shit and don't vomit or tear your eyes from both sockets. Walks around with his crew, acting like the next so solid fam. You're from Hastings, the place most popping is the post office. <laughs> Real facts, he actually works in the best nightclub in town. At the coat deposit. That's facts. <laughs> Giving out blowjobs in the coat closet. <laughs> no, that's all good. Um, this is what really. Oh shit. This is what really pisses me off. Yeah. This is my real problem. In a song called "Do Me Some Rollies," you try <laughs> undermining what? artists who promote positivity, claiming that the protesting won't stop the industries. But see. It's often people who fail in life and get thrown off from living dreams who become depressive skeptics and roll on to bigotry. Because you say in that song that people should only focus on their own lives and their own problems. The same capitalist view that meant renting has risen, that poor people get lengthy convictions while people with pee don't get sentenced to prison. So you can say they ain't venting a difference or mending the system, but I'd rather speak up against the divisions, stand in the battle, defend feminism, than your pretentious performing, generic and boring. Hip-hop was founded on knowledge, not resentment and scorning. You're just so self-obsessed you don't realise the consequences it's causing, probably fucking defending the Tories against Jeremy Corbyn. I mean, mm. No, because it's just it's just hating his raps. He's even got racism tracks, like when you said all lip, like the face of a black bra. <laughs> what? I mean that's that's probably <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Yo. <laughs> this just hating his tracks. He's even got racism tracks, like when you said all lip, like the face of a black raw. I mean, that's probably why against Crescendo, you got Willsey to stand in your place when you rap like, now look if you want, I got mates that are black. <laughs> <laughs> all that anger shows is that inside. All that hatred shows is inside you're angry at how bad that the system's getting and envy all the people who handle it with affection. See, what's funny is against Craze, you apologise to the fans that you disrespected and told them all the reasons the battle and shit was stressing. Explain why you quit from loss of home to drinking to family interventions, but in reality, maybe the fact you did a blessing because now you've actually been a product of factorism's oppression and felt the full effects of a camera and hip session. See? Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Yes. See? So think about all those people and all those eyes you're always attacking with indiscretion. Next time you need a helping hand and no one's got your back since you've been addressing them as twats for their imperfections. And now that shit's reflecting right back with a switch direction and a damaging introspection. See, there's a difference between us, ain't just ability. Our whole attitude's in contention. You are lazy. You make excuses. When I battle press one at the time, I was managing with depression, but handled it with perspective and channeled it to aggression. If you've got a strong mind, there's ways of coping. When there's pain emotions, I change my focus. I want someone enough, there's no way to throw me. And even if I don't stay composed, I stay composing like second. Battle, couple stumbles, no major choking. I just got right back on the tack like Seamus Coleman. See, this is all the snap. We're just putting on the nap, bro. It's all fake and posing, but I've just bait exposed them and now it's fake symposing. I'm coming back cold. I'll make sure that your remains are frozen and get left in a box. Now that's Labour voting. Time. <laughs> Final round of the entire event. Let's go, Conga. Set it off. Yo. See, crafties don't flop's new nice guy. So I feel bad for murdering him here. But he thinks kissing the right asses will work further in his career. But fuck sucking dick to get good battles. The role's reversed with me, mate. Bitch, I got this main event after Earl gave me brains. <laughs> And I've got guys like Callum from the forum in my fan base. You get gas when Callum from the forum gives you a handshake. Well, that's what I thought you was a fan, mate. But nah, you think it's you against the world, innit? Some sort of anti-government prophet that's spitting. But so does every other spoken word cock around Britain. <laughs> Pretend pretentious would-be outcasts, thinking they're dropping mad wisdom. There's an ironic amount of cogs in that system. You're an armchair activist. Because when your pen hits the page, you say the system's corrupt, but it's the defensive you play. You can't talk about the world's problems and expect them to change when all you do is remind us of the mess that's been made. It's counterproductive. And I know you think you're preaching positivity, but the way I see it, your material is feeding off the misery. Because if you actually did something about what you put in bars and songs, it would make your back, back catalogue less than half as long. So this is your apocalypse. And I'm the harbinger this evening. I've put in work since day one. I was the gardener of Eden. Nice. <laughs> and Big Jeezy sent me back here when he heard your tunes. Now it's my mission to kill more poets than World War II, but nah. Realistically, neither one of us are leaving anyone dropped in a fight. Um, 
Oh, okay, yeah. Realistically, <laughs> neither one of us are leaving anyone drops in a fight. But in a war of metaphors, you're getting more than popped in the eye. You're on the chopping block and Conker's got a body to fry. You couldn't test this with a scholar or a doctorate's mind. I was the one that left the ring there for the hobbits to find. This kind of shit is lightning quick, it's leaving Sonic behind. I've got the strength to make a planet in a comic collides. Fitting them dark like Vader blacked out in a Hollister lines. Yeah, so, although we look the same, so although we look the same, you ain't got Conker's design. You might as well be spitting binary robotic with lines. But if beating and will drive me to the top then tonight I'll use this robot as a vehicle like he's Optimus Prime. Quick. You repeat shit, you repeat shit, you repeat shit When you're dropping bars, dropping bars I only ever repeat shit to show how Conker's craft Conker's craft. Uh. Uh. Yo! So you apologise for your no-shows? Saying that shit to the battle world's fine, but if you're gonna do the same thing, three weeks later, fam, you should've rang a helpline. <laughs> now his life's just going round in circles like a carousel ride, because you can't make ends meet like parallel lines. I mean, you had a kid at what, 18? You had a kid at 18? But if you're gonna get with some random slosher, at least learn how to rap it proper. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Next thing you know, she's pregnant at the doctor. It's Chelsea attacking Costa Hazard Costa. This is easy, oh, fuck ever. Yeah. This is easy, fuck ever. I don't have to bother. I'm here to casually top the talent roster, bag and box your talk about action. This is a chatter box to an actual boxer. I got that pen game to settle the match like a pen game. You should consider this clash an honor. I'm slapping Congo with Maradona's hand. I got to break every lines like a dash or comma. So if I have a loss, I'll get back up stronger. Payback double like cash on Wonga. Leave you blood soaked like the slasher genre or Dracula's collar in Hammer Horror. Why do you. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. So why do you rap like this? Trying to win an acting Oscar for battle posture? Looking like, <laughs> looking like your hand has got the magic wand to Harry Potter? <laughs> He'll start clowning on my name like, now Crafty's in the league. It's Crafty, he's so Crafty. <laughs> 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 He'll start clowning on my name like, now Crafty's in the lead. It's Crafty, he's so Crafty, he spells Crafty with a D. <laughs> <laughs> Some of all the cadaver expelliarmus wizardry Maybe if I say my words fast Maybe if I say my words fast They won't ask you what they mean <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I say my words fast They won't ask you what they mean I mean, for some the judgment's passed on preference, so I want to ask a question. What's some cunt with larger presence to a structured bar and sentence? It's mm. like Manny vs Mayweather in his hunt to harm a legend because that passion don't mean shit bro if your punches aren't connecting. Nice. Oh. Let's go! I mean yeah, we're both, we're both, we're both unbeaten right? But look at the opponents he's cautiously chose. It's like playing strip poker when you forfeit your clothes. Because you've had a week five cards drawn and disposed. So the longer that streak goes, the more you're exposed with that frail frame and pale face and mood that you got. You got a swagger that says you work in a funeral shop. <laughs> you see, my submission's to see this mug quitting. So by the ending, he might tap before I dig dirt on him for the win like a buried alive match. But you're more like the Undertaker. And that's not because you're on a streak and thriving on wins. It's because each match you take so fucking long to arrive in the ring. But see, <laughs> while your streak ends now, for me, it's five clean wins back to back. Bodies like Siamese twins battling this. Let's go! Battling this plonker oh, called Conker. I thought I'd pass the clown test. Five battles in, why is it still feeling like my sound check? This is a guy on that. I ain't really yes. been around flex versus a guy a few people saying hasn't even lost a round yet. So by the end of this, some might say I got 14, but I'm on a card in Max Sherry, so I lost all three. Thanks. Yes, yes. Very close battle. It's one of the battles I want to say is too close to pull. Um, very similar styles as well, to be honest, how they approached it. I'm just trying to think of things that made them stood out. I liked, I had even up to third round, I liked Crafty's little impression there, so I'm going to edge it to Crafty. Close one. Conker B and Crafty, uh, really good battle. I want to say 3 0 to Crafty. I really liked Conker B. Uh, I just want to say very quickly, I just want to bring it up because they're both on the Conker B was really, really good, just a little bit less direct. Like, uh, uh, for example, in the second, did the whole brief psychological scheme, which went on for a little bit too long. But then after we went out of that, started being hard hitting, so just a bit more direct is what uh, made Crafty win it for me. Oh, and I really.
Finland and Spain. Uh, yeah, um, that was fucking close to start. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give out a rules of crafting. Um, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 but yeah. crafting was more direct. I think that's so cool. He took it so crafting. Yes, I gave that battle to crafty. Um, just technically, they were both very technical. I had some sick haymakers on them. But I like the lines within lines that crafty brings. Like, mean average, that bar there. I had a few of them written down. Just very, very um, intricate. And I like that. It was also really varied. The second round of the whole Jeremy Corbyn politics game. No one saw that coming. That was sick. And, uh, it's also about haymakers and that Manny connector and punch back. Like, a few of the haymakers, I think. A few more of them went to, uh, to uh, party. This is a long, relatively long breakdown for me. But I got a shout out coming from the Garden of Eden bars. And he put in the work but just lost it. Uh, I gave up three rounds to Crafty. I think Conquer B was winning the second round with his Olympian uh, schemes, and then I think Crafty started slower, kind of come back and rip the rug out from under him. But yeah, I gave him three rounds to Crafty. Back here, final, final battle of the October Training Day edition. It was the main event. We had Crafty, who's now on my left, going up against Conquer B. Please make some noise. It's a fucking great battle, man. Fuck out the fiddlers, we'll be back here in December or whenever else. But remaining undefeated is my man Craft D. Make some noise. Cause I'm a brutal bar, a 13 foot Hadouken blaster I've been about the block and I've been known to cause a few disasters I'm a bony cunt but when I'm throwing punches through your armour See brains flying in the sky like Philip Fry and Futurama 